is there by today? Not doing too bad. Seen it a whole lot worse. And believe me, it could always be worse. So, this morning, I get to work at 6 o'clock. I start getting everything ready to change the day over. The third shifter goes outside to have him a cigarette. When he comes back in, apparently laying right inside the door, was a little bag of smoke. Kind of playing iffy on what I'm saying here, because I'm not sure how it's supposed to go, but we'll just refer to it as smoke. And, uh, well, he was pretty excited about it. And as long as he don't show up to work in that condition or do it while he's there, I really don't care. Well, about an hour goes by or so, and I notice this fellow walking around the store. And he's looking all over the place, and down in the corner and up by the registers and all that. And I said, can I help you with something, bud? And he said, uh, man, uh, didn't anybody happen to turn in a little black bag that was tied in a knot, did they? And I said, no. And I can kind of tell by the look on your face what it was. And to be honest, I highly doubt somebody turned something like that in. But, uh, you know, I would like to commend you on the size of your cojones for coming in here and asking Well, later on that afternoon, the uh, one of the other folks comes in and he said, "Hey, did uh, did John tell you about that pot, or what did John do with that pot?" And I went, "He called and told you." Wait, what are you talking about? And he said that bucket that was in the bottom of that flower display over here the other day, you know that black pot. Where's it at? And I said, oh, it's over here by this table. And he went, wow, what were you talking about? Oh, oh, oh nothing. <laughs> but that was kind of the funny for today. My boss called me here not too long ago, and she said that somebody had come in and brought some silver certificates and asked if I wanted them. And I said, well, sure. You know, set them to the side. I'll come up there in a little bit and get them. I was not expecting this. Now, yes, I, I, I know. I, I need to have them in slips and, and all that, but I'm still waiting on them to get here. I've, I have ordered them, but I'm still waiting on them to get here. But these are 1935E. And now I've done very little research. I grabbed them up because they were in such good condition. But uh, you can kind of tell that they've been folded once in the middle. But this is what got me, was there's 56, 57, 58, I've got about 20 except for a few missing out of out of the middle in sequential order what appear to be uncirculated silver dollars 
And now I have seen, I'm sure there was some unique point that I missed on them. But I have seen on some of these auctions, some of these 35Es, or like I said, there, there could be a, a, a key point that I have missed. But, uh, but I've seen them go for about, we'll say 20 to $25 a piece, maybe a little more. I picked them up for a dollar a piece, bought them for face value. And at my job, that happens quite a bit. And nine times out of ten, I will ask, are you sure? And, uh, I mean, I had a fella come in a couple of years ago and ask to buy a pack of cigarettes. And when I told him what the price was, he handed me five nineteen twenty one peace dollars. And, uh, I mean, they're not in the best condition. We'll get them out here one day and look through them. But I'm like, man, are you sure you want to spend these? And he said, it's just a dollar, or it's just five bucks. And I said, well, I guess you're right. And I dropped them in my pocket and took a $5 bill out of my wallet and put it in the register. And we went on about our day. Now, I've got quite a few more silver certificates. These are, are nowhere near. I mean, there's one or two good ones in here. Somebody stuck them together with some, I, I cannot wait for my sleeves, guys. These are all stained and t or toned, I guess. Um, have I got, yeah. The last one, I can't remember where I got this one from, but if you notice, it's a star note. Almost turned it around like you were sitting across the table from me. Anyway, guys. I figure we'll wrap it up with that. I might put up another one tomorrow. But just sharing some of my work finds. A little bit of ha-ha. get back at hunting through these pennies. Bo one, a box I had yesterday of all 50 rolls and I found 8 wheat pennies and 62 Canadians. But guys I'm going to get back at it and y'all have a good one. And y'all behave.